post. We're just off on our morning round. Do you think this, this will be a couple? Like, what's the relationship here? It could be a professional couple. Mostly, I follow instructions and just do what I'm told. <laughs> I've made a career out of it. We like to hit the cobbles early and get all of our deliveries done. And being posties, well, that's keeping it in the family. We go around the streets making sure everyone gets their mail. But it was separate trips around the world that delivered us into the same vicinity. There's a little a cruise ship. As the Marks Dancers' first duo, we're here to put our stamp on the competition. And hopefully we'll dance like a dream and not a nightmare. This is very this morning they do this where they give people money. Tonight. We're hoping to deliver a first class performance. We can afford it. I've got it. I think I've got it. Sorry, it's just it's my mum's birthday on Monday. I'm just trying to. Uh, let's go. <laughs> oh, guys, that was so good. Post is very strong. Yeah. Peter, what are you thinking? Uh, well, I enjoyed it. Um, it's mad, but I enjoyed it. <laughs> um, I noticed hearts on the trees, and I thought that was a, a bit of a clue. So I thought it could be Jamie Theakes and Amanda Holden. Yeah, I... oh, oh, and they're on the radio. Yeah. Oh, and they're oh. Who do you think it is, Jonathan? I was looking at the heart as well, Peter, but yeah. I didn't go heart FM. I thought, what if the heart's a bigger clue? And you look at the size of them, and I think I've got it. Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's who it is. <laughs> OT. I found it really, really difficult, because when you look at the package, you think one thing, and then when you look at their bodies, you, you see them completely yes. different. I had the check that had said lots of money, which made me think of this morning. And I saw one of the addresses, it said JL5. And I thought that might have looked like JLS, and someone who works on this morning is Rochelle and Marvin Hughes. <gasps> That's how I saw it. Yeah, I'm That's good. Davina, what are you thinking? I went down a completely different route. The fact that you are in a red costume and I feel like you can dance. I'm thinking that it might be Diane Buswell and Joe Sugg. No because they are both massive YouTubers and they post non-stop online. Oh, so posting that. They one. made a living out of that. Joe Sugg is the size of this pen. He's yeah. tiny. <laughs> Do you guys want another clue? Yes. yes. yes OK. It. It's the clue detector. <laughs> Toes. Toes. Clue 
is related to toes. Pillar and post, take it away. We totally seen stars together. We've totally seen stars together. If we go back to your guess, Peter, then if yeah. it was Jamie and Amanda in the morning on Heart, then, yeah, they see stars together cos they interview them. But if we go back to the better guess that it's Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Kevin Hart... <laughs> <laughs> they they work stars. with stars together. They are. Which two celebrities are packed and wrapped inside these costumes? We need to think inside the box. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Pillar and Pose! <laughs> Well done, guys. Head off down the tunnel. This way. Well done. Were the panel's guesses first class, or have Pillar and Post kept their identity under wraps? Who do you think's behind the mask? What a first performance. But are the panel's guesses right? We don't deliver our secrets that easily. In our last performance, we lifted more than just the panel spirits. Jamie Thiggs and Amanda Holden. Rochelle and Marvin Hume. Diane Buswell and Joe Sugg. Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we found ourselves in the bottom three. But the panel saved us to dance another day. Pillar and Pose! There's no combination of words I could put on the back of a postcard. Anyone who knows me will tell you I'm funny. Although, I don't think I'd have made it as a comedian because my delivery is awful. Oh dear! What's up? Uh, tea bags. They say opposites attract, but in many ways we're quite similar, even though we're from different elements. There's never been friends like us. What's that say? Des. That's football. Des Lynam? And speaking of elements, it's fair to say you had a second wind. Second wind? You had a second wind. Second wind, it's a sporting term. I did, and I found more than just my feet again, too. To be a rugby player. And that was that. Bob's your uncle, as they say. Oh, listen to him. He's so wild. Tonight, we're pushing the envelope and partnering up for another performance. Oh, bottles. Caps. Caps. Oh, yeah, it's just more... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's never been friends like us. you holding me up Now I'm strong enough for both of us Both of us Both of us Both of us Giant Giant Tell me what you see Giant Giant We'll be back in moments Only I Proposal. Wow. That was so, oh. that was so good.
That was so lovely. I really enjoyed oh my that. God. Did you say yeah? Did you say yes? Okay, she said yes. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. Well done. That's good. Davina, I'm going to come to you first. That was extraordinary. Yes. Yes, yes that yes. was incredible. So good. Post. Post, you in particular have upped your game in a major way. Those lifts, yeah, I don't yeah. know what they're called or anything. <laughs> oh my word. What were they called? The, there were the so spinning many. Round. It was so many. There was the helicopter. The helicopter. The helicopter. Stop <laughs> it. It was amazing. I thought she was getting in the crowd at one point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to let go and it's just going to fly. There was something that they do. It was called the slingshot where she stands on the shoulders and she just drops. Yes. That was slides. hard. That was it's crazy. So scary, but you did it so slick. With Beautiful. With mask, and it didn't fall off. I it was so good. It is. But you would have just sat on his shoulder like a parrot. Yes. It was incredible. <laughs> just sat up there. I don't want to excite you too much, but me and Peter are working on doing a slingshot on the last show. <laughs> I cannot wait. We've been working on it. Who's going to be on top? Obviously, me. <laughs> yeah, Peter's going to be on your shoulder, his legs are going to be on the floor. It's going to hurt. We're going to take people's eyes out of the back row. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's someone sporty yes. and we, Peter and I, are having a bit of an argument over rugby or football. I've gone rugby, so I think that it's a dancer and a sports person and I think it's Ben Cohen and Christine. Very good. That's a very good. good. Yes. You know what, they also, they also mentioned uh, an uncle in the VT. I know that Ben Cohen, uh, George Cohen, was his uncle who won the 1966 World Cup. Whoa! Oh. I did not know that! A bit of knowledge for you there. I don't yeah. think any... Oh, well, look, <laughs> and the caps as well, the caps on the bench. Yes. Because yes. yeah. you thought caps it was for caps fun. for England, like, yeah, football, yeah, yeah. and I thought it was caps for England well, you've rugby. you've got lots of caps, so you've also been on the bench a lot, so you kind of know... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, know I know my benches. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I know who this is. I feel like I know those hands. What? <laughs> it's one of the creepiest things you've ever said, Peter, I'll be honest with you. I feel like I do. Um, I'm feeling the football kind of vibe. I think the bottle tops were caps. Yes. The tea bag, I know this person's from Yorkshire. Oh, yes. And drinks Yorkshire tea. Might have done an advert for them as well. Des on the VT, yeah. which could be Des Lynham. Oh, yeah. yes. And I know it's Bob. And Post Bob... can't even look at you. Post <laughs> and, cannot even Bob, look at you. And Bob Wilson was this person's goalkeeping coach at Arsenal. And uh, I think it's David Seaman and his yeah. wife, Frankie Turner. <laughs> I absolutely agree. Who David do you think it is? Seaman. I think it's David Seaman and Frankie. Do you think, OK, you agree with Peter. I, I like agree that. with Peter. Me and Peter are yeah, the yeah, same yeah, page, yeah, yeah. every single page. <laughs> it was, like you two. Honestly, <laughs> Jonathan, who do you think it is? Well, I, I mean, Peter seemed very convincing then, but although I was also found it slightly creepy when he went, I know those hands. <laughs> um, I'm trying to make sense of the clues on the trees, because that one says Arbre, which is French for tree, and that one says Baum, which is German, German for tree. So I wonder whether there's someone who's... Uh, did did um, David play for German, a German team or a French team ever, or...? I don't believe so. Do you think he's ever been there on holiday? I think he's definitely okay, been could there. Could be that. <laughs> um, but I'm trying to make sense of what's on uh, Pillar's uh, waist there, SR. And of course, the, the, the name that screams to me is Susanna Reid again. And I'm wondering whether it's Susanna Reid and Richard Maidley. <laughs> Do you want another clue? Yes, yes please. please. OK, let's get you under another clue with two lies and a truth. Pillar and Post, your first clue, please. We started out on different arms. We started out on different arms. Are they married to different other people? Arms. Here's your second one, please. Our names can be found on an assassin's notepad. Our names can be found on an assassin's notepad. What's an assassin's notepad? I don't know what that's okay. right. Third one, please. Maybe in the movie. Between us, we got a large job and a sting in our tail. Between us, <laughs> we've got a large gob and a sting in our tail. Yeah, that could be. I think the first one. I think, think the, the first, first one. And probably one? Maybe, divorcees. Maybe married to other people first. Yeah, okay. I agree. Okay, whatever happens, they've got a great career ahead of them. Oh, oh. Career, career, career. Oh. It's better in post, everybody! Are the panel delivering with their guesses? Who do you think our duo is? Wow! How good! 
Post. I think it's David Seaman and his wife Frankie. Ben Cohen and Christina. I'm one with it, Susanna Weed and Richard Maidley. Hey, kitty girls, here we go again. It's great to learn a new discipline. That sounded slightly northern. Yeah, yeah, yeah northern. Discipline is something that's always played a big role in both our lives. But dancing is something we both had to learn. It's a safe step. So what do you think that's about? That's a, a nickname. Ah, oh, OK, safe. Dancing has never been Poe's strong point, although you could say he's flash at it. Ha <laughs> ha! I've always liked a challenge. Garden? Someone's doing gardening. Learning to dance has just been another set of hurdles we've learned to overcome. We've had to work together to build a connection. But there's an even bigger connection between me and my mask. Tonight, we've got some news to deliver. Now, we were hoping to see another amazing performance from Pillar and Post tonight, but sadly, Pillar took a tumble during rehearsals, and I am absolutely gutted to tell you but on medical advice, they've had to withdraw from the competition. Uh, I know, but that doesn't mean this case is all wrapped up. We still need to find out who they are. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the stage, Pillar and Post. <laughs> Pillar and Post, are you OK? Guys, this Aww. has been absolutely mad. Our first ever masked duo. We have absolutely loved having yeah. you on the show. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> Pillar and Post, sadly, your time on The Masked Dancer has come to an end. But before you reveal who's behind the masks, panel, can we please have your final guesses? Let's go for it. Jonathan. First of all, it's such a shame oh, you've had to go home because we've so enjoyed watching you. And, uh, I mean, Pillar, I think, is definitely someone who knows how to dance. Yes. Probably a professional dancer. Post has some moves as well. Unfortunately, they're the moves of a dad at a wedding. <laughs> the clues tonight, there was one clue about we had to work hard to connect together. Mm -hmm. And there was another clue about delivering the news. And I think these two are a couple who have both hosted Have I Got News For You. She presents Only Connect, and I think it could be husband and wife team Victoria Cohen Mitchell and David Mitchell. OK. That's who's out there. That's interesting. Uh, O.C., what do you think? Um, so I thought morning show, news, and I thought Dan Walker and Naga Manchetti. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Ooh, I can see that. <laughs> Davina. Um, I started off by just looking at the stature of <laughs> Post and just looking at the size against Pillar. I believe that you danced or performed together on a show. So I think it's Ben Cohen and Christina Rianoff. OK. Crouchy, what are you thinking? I have to say, I'm not surprised that uh, Pillar's injured the way the Post was thrown around. <laughs> 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 but, um, he, yeah, he's, he's, he's a very strong man. I said last time I recognise those hands and I feel like I've got this one. Uh, they're very much in love. I think they've worked together on Dancing on Ice. And um, there was a safe in the VT. Yes. Which was, you know, the person I'm thinking of, <laughs> his nickname was Safe Hands. Of course. Yes. Um, and I think it's David Seaman and his wife Frankie from Dancing on Ice. It's a good guess. Wow. Well, let's see if any of you are right. Pillar of Post, who's behind the mask? Everyone, take, take it, it off. off! Take it 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 off!
most professional. Well done. You guys are so good. You guys are so good. Oh, I'm so sad to see you go with an injury. Oh, no. How are you feeling? You okay? Yeah, it's not the way we wanted to go, but it's it happens. Well, oh, guys, yeah. you were so honestly. Well, this is so oh, brilliant. I mean, yeah. that dance, the last dance we saw you do together was so beautiful. It <laughs> literally stole everyone's yes. hearts. I'm gutted for you two. Oh, yeah. thank you. We're gutted too, actually, aren't we? Yeah, we are. It was it was nerve wracking. Yes, it is. <laughs> <don't it? laughs> I played in World Cups and things, and this is a lot worse. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we got a lot of the clues, didn't we? <laughs> um, I got a few of them. You got a few. Uh, <laughs> he recognised your hands. The hands. Yes. I know, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. miss them. Did you <laughs> Peter, have you guys played together? I've played against David in a very, very good Arsenal team, but um, never got to play with him for England, but he's an absolute legend of the game and one of my heroes. How did you find learning to, to dance? My husband hates dancing. <laughs> and actually... I, didn't even, I didn't even dance on our wedding. <laughs> <laughs> really? Like, no. So we, did, we did like a little smooch. I was like, I thought we weren't dancing. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> So the safe meant safe hands, because that was your exactly. nickname. Exactly. What yeah. was the cruise ship? Why was there a cruise ship? Oh, I, I skated on cruise ships for so a few years. Wow. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Can I ask you about the SR? Sheffield and Rotherham. Oh, oh I see. <laughs> You guys have been so, so good. And I'm sorry to see you going this way, yeah. but honestly, we've enjoyed yeah. you so much this far. So thank you so thank much. You. Yeah. Give it up for yeah. David and Frankie. See you later, everyone.